Hello guys, how you doing? And today I'll be teaching you how to take a mini dirt bike carburetor off if there's a bit of dirt going in. 49cc mini dirt bike. So let's get to it. So all you will need is an Allen key, depends how your carburetor is holding on by, and to collect all the petrol that comes out the bowl, get an old rag like a top of anything or tea towel. It's up to you. All, all you want to do is put it there is undo the carburetor right once you've got your carburetor off whatever tool that you need with me allen key um, if you've got the two bolts we'll take them out leave them to one side make sure you don't lose them because it's going to be a pain to find the carburetor what things you need for it um, and now if the cameraman comes over here you can see I've got the whole carburetor here and all you've got to do is take these nuts off you got that screw there and you got that screw there as you can see it is full of petrol so that's why we got the rag and that will save us a lot of mess a lot of water and you can dry that out but don't use heat just leave it on a washing line stuff like that if you use heat it's petrol it will go up where's the rag get that already What I say to you guys, all coming out, all coming off the, the frame. Guys, make sure you leave the door open. Cameraman, please show the door open. Thank you. And because it smells of petrol, it might stink, you might not like it, but I won't breathe it in because stuff like that. Now, once you've got the bowl off, this is what's inside the bowl. Got a little bit of petrol, you got all your insides over there, and this is all the petrol I gathered up. This is why we have that. And now, if we have a look under there, it won't touch the wood and it won't stain it or it won't do nothing. Depends how you want, or you can just have petrol drip everywhere. So what we got, this is, there we go, let it all drip out. Now this is all of it, all out. Now that is quite dirty. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, that is really dirty inside. Um, now you want to flatten this screwdriver to take the jet out. So I'll do that right now. Now I've got it finger tight, so all you got to do is take it off. And how to get you flathead screwdriver, there's a flathead screwdriver bit on there like you use to string into a bit of wall. Now if you have a look inside it is really dirty because you can't see through it. So you want to get something to blow through there, anything you like but because I'm hardcore I'm going to blow straight through. As you saw, I blew through it, and you should be able to see straight through. Can you see a little bit? Don't know if you can, guys, but I can certainly can. If I shine it up to the light, you might be able to see now. Don't know if you can. But, oh well, you can probably see it. Oh, no, I don't know. Um, so that is all it is. You blow through that, screw it back in, and you're good as normal. I am doing it again, guys, to make sure. There we go. That is definitely clean, clean the jet. And now, soon to screw that in. We are set to go. Now you want to get your flathead screwdriver, stick it up there, and turn. Now you want to get your float and make sure you clean your hands. Clean my hands. Now you want to clean the float. 
we got to do is the main and petrol was on the rag. Wash it with that. There you go. Got a nice clean float to show it all in there. There we go. All in there. And stick it up there. Like so it's back where it was. Right now guys, now if the cameraman comes over here, yeah. Um you can see uh I've cleaned all of that out and the jet as you saw. And now I've got to stick it all on here, but now you got to get all the screws and stuff and bolt it back in. So you could choose whatever one, they're both the same size. So yeah, all I've got to do is get the right screwdriver, not the flathead guys, and screw it in like that. And now you want to have the old in still, tiny, just a little bit more, so it holds it, so it's still baggy. And then you want to get the other screw, screw it in there. I'm not sure if you can see, but you can still see now, I think now. Yeah, that's cool. And now you want to screw back into there, like that. There we go, guys. Tighten it a little bit more. Tighten this one a little bit more. Nice and tight. So it pinches the gasket. There we go, guys. That is nice and tight. Now, you want to get your screws. What you had. Got to look after these. These are more important than anything else because they're both the same size and that's what you want them to be. And then stick one in there. Make sure it goes all the way to the end. And then stick down there. And now it's the hard game. Putting it back on. Right now guys. I had to switch over to another camera. So the quality might be a little bit different. Because the camera did die. So all you got to do is slip the uh, screw in. If I can find it. Uh, there it is. Let's slip that through. And there we go. That is all in. Now you want to get your Allen key and screw it all on. That simple. Got to get the other uh, hand to help guide it in. So that is how to put a carburetor on, how to clean your carburetor, like, subscribe. And tell me in the comments if you want me to do anything else to this bike. And if you got some, if you got a mini dirt bike in it, don't run. Let me know, and I'll give you some tips on the video. Or if you say like, if you had to put a 